When I started coding a decade ago, there was no concept of Git or GitHub and there was no concept of open source. Everything was enterprise software and you cannot come back home and do the same thing which you want to do at work. Over a period of time, systems have evolved, computers have evolved and we are seeing new transition from enterprise softwares to open source softwares and lots of people have open source software contribution as their full time job. I used to wonder how is it going to scale but looking at communities like Kubernetes where there are thousands of contributors across the globe into a single platform. I can see how open source as a concept and with respect to community contribution has created powerful products which we developers can leverage upon. In this video we are going to see how we can contribute to an open source project which is present inside github. Let's get started. Press the bell icon on the YouTube app and never miss any update from Tech Primus. Few days ago, I had posted saying that I have created a Tech Primus GitHub page. Let's say your account name is Tech Primus. GitHub provides something called your account name dot GitHub dot IO. So I get a space provided by GitHub called Tech Primus dot GitHub dot IO. This is a space dedicated for my username. So if let's say I have a username called moving to web, I have a moving to web dot github dot io. Same way every user with a username gets a github page and you can host some HTML pages inside that. And the source code for that will reside inside your github account. So if you notice, this is my github page. Most of you are familiar with this and you are using this particular github account. If you go to techprimers.github.io, this has the source code of whatever you see here. So I have created a dummy page or I have created a sample page with which you can feel the power of open source by contributing to it. So I have just open sourced this host techprimers.github.io so that you can go and add your name with a page. So see that I already have two contributors. One is Ankur and then Subhash they have added their own page so this whole content is added by them right and it is rendered in the same page which i have so if i see shubhash has contributed today and ankur has contributed two days ago and of course this is my profile so this is just a temporary page it just shows a bio about each one of you who have contributed to this particular page i have just created this particular page just for you guys to contribute it so that you can get a feel of how open source looks like right i'm going to explain it to you right now on how to contribute it and i am going to use an account to show you how you can really contribute to this particular project so if you have never contributed to open source this is your chance to contribute by creating a simple markdown file and then trying out your hand at open source projects right if let's say you want to contribute to bigger projects this is how it will feel like so there are a bunch of icons here these are just some um, icons which i have created so that you can take a look at how many people have forked, how many people have starred, how many contributions are there in this particular repo. And there is something called open in Gitpod. So if you have seen my video on Gitpod, Gitpod is an online editor for GitHub repositories. So you can use Gitpod to edit it online without even having to check this code locally. I just created an account called the spike account. This is the dummy account which we are going to use to fork our techprimers.github.io. Generally, when you want to contribute to an open source project, you will have to fork a repo. So you cannot check out this particular code directly and you cannot directly raise a pull request because you might not have access to this particular organization or a GitHub account. So what you can generally do is you can fork it. And that's why you see lots of people forking it. Forking will allow you to get a branch of what is there inside the root account. And then you can work on that particular version and then you can raise a pull request on to the master version right so that's what we are going to do so i'm going to click on the fork option the moment you click on the fork option it creates the same copy from the tech primers account onto my account see that there is a spike account this is my account and internally we have got the same code here and this is how you can create a copy of what is present inside tech primers into the spike account and that's what we got here it's just showing up the spike now how do i contribute to this particular 
tech primers open source project this particular open source repo the github page can be contributed by adding a markdown file that's it so you if you have seen my videos on hugo this whole website is created using hugo so you write markdown files and that gets converted into this particular website using the theme called pulp which is present inside the hugo framework so we can build the project using hugo i'm going to show that how to do it and you can commit those code along with the markdown file so now that we have got the fork ready so you can fork every any repo now the fork is ready right we need to check out this particular fork onto our local most of the time you can edit it here as well but i want to compile my hugo code as well i already have the code here which i used for the tech primers account but i'm going to ditch this and i'm going to use my spike account so what i will do is i'll just create a new repo so inside code i think i have a documents and code inside this i'm going to create a directly called spike here i'm going to clone my project and how do i clone it i'm going to clone it using my spike account so the spike account is uh, it's called spike acc at so the moment i enter and username at github.com it's going to ask me the password and i didn't enter the clone command obviously the command for cloning is git clone so this is how you clone it i can do the clone so this will clone the whole repo into my local right so this has cloned my whole repo into this local that's what we have done here and i also have documented the whole steps see this this is how you clone it you can directly clone the github link of your repo right i have cloned it into my spike account repo right and then you can do a sub module in it and sub module update i'll tell you in a while what is that let me go to the techprimers.github.io so git sub module in it and git sub module update so what are these doing these are checking out the pulp theme into my local see that it says that it has checked out the pulp theme onto my themes folder so this has required because you need to compile the code and in the runtime you need to generate these public folders right so i'm writing a markdown file but i need to generate the html code out of it right that's what the hugo does and pulp theme is the ui layout whatever we see in this particular website here so this is what the pulp theme is all about and that's what we are going to do so we have the code ready i'm going to open this in intellij so this is open in intellij let me go to the content so this should have the contributor details see that the different contributors are present i'm going to create exactly similar to what ankur has created let me create a spike account right so my account is called spike so i'm just going to create a spike later i can remove it it's just for you guys to see how i can contribute so i'm just going to say hello all this is the spike commit for the open source contribution demo that's what we are doing right so that's it this is what i expected to be added to this particular website right so i just added a profile using a markdown file and i am done but the only caveat here is you need to build this particular project because you created a markdown file however all the html files gets generated into a folder called public right now all the changes are not reflected in the public right so in order to do that you need to build the hugo site so in order to build it how do you build it you can just do your hugo the moment you type hugo this gets built the whole website gets built and if you look at the intellij see that there are new changes now so these are some things which got changed like if i open the index.html i can now see the link for the new changes which got added right where is that let me go to contributors there should be a new contributor see that there is a new contributor called spike so we need to add all these right so that's what i'm going to do now i need to commit this back right i'll do a git add and i'll do a git commit so we have added the markdown file we have built using hugo and now we are committing them back so i'm just saying some 
commit statement this has committed now the moment i commit it i need to push it right the moment i push this is going to ask the username it's since i already provided the username it's going to ask me the password alone so now i need to enter the password let me enter the password so this is the password for my spike account the moment i do this the code is now pushed on to my spike let's look at the github account because we cloned it from our spike account right so that's what we did now it's taking the latest changes and see that this is what we added we added the new spike.md and this got added right let me go back and it has no change right so you were able to add it because it's all in your website now i need to push the local change whatever i added here onto the tech primers root account and that's what we need to do that's why we need to raise something called as a pull request so pull requests are basically you are pulling the changes from the spike account and adding on to the tech primers account so the moment i click on the pull up new pull request github is intelligent to identify what are the changes which are present inside the spike and then it raises the diff of that and it raises on to tech primers directly so the moment i say create this pull request and say create pull request in my tech primers account here when wherever i am logged in i will get a notification saying a new pull request has been raised by spike see that i can see the new pull request and it shows up who raised it spike account raised it right this is how you can raise a pull request from your account on to the tech primers account and that is how you can locally add changes on to a open source project so this is general concept in any project here we just did the hugo build but in generally you will try to change the source code and you will try to run some test cases or try to build it locally and test it locally as well in case if you want to test this particular hugo project locally you can run the command called hugo serve hyphen d the moment you do it you can hit your url locally see that i can hit my url locally using localhost colon 1313 slash public and i can see the whole website locally and i can see the new change as well here so this is how you can test the site locally and then make sure you can contribute it back so if you are interested in creating a contribution definitely go ahead and fork the repo and then create a pull request once you have changed it i hope you were able to easily understand how to fork a repo and create pull request based on the changes you have made for this particular open source project so this is the general concept for any open source project if you have never done any open source contribution definitely try testing with the techprimers.github.io so i am definitely going to review all your changes and i will approve it we already have two pull requests raised by two different contributors from the um, channel so one was done by subhash the other one was done by ankur thank you very much guys so if you want to contribute do fork the repo and try to raise a pull request the moment you add your markdown file even if you don't know how to build the hugo site let me know i can build it for you and i'll just commit your markdown files i hope this was pretty useful as always if you like the video go ahead and like it if you haven't subscribed to the channel go ahead and subscribe to it meet you again in the next video thank you very much